goes live here on the WWE Network. It's been all Aiden English here for the last few minutes against Ty Dillinger. John, what do you think would possess a superstar to go to the middle of the ring and sing and not be surprised when someone like Ty Dillinger crops up? What do you think would possess a superstar? Because he has a voice like Merle Haggard. Are you kidding me? I mean, if I had a voice like that, I'd sing everywhere. I'd sing in the street corner. I'd sing in the shower. I'd sing out here. Maybe you should be a spokesman. Start the fade here. Look, he's singing now. The man's got a song in his heart. Nothing wrong with that. He actually uh, <laughs> referred to himself as an angel of music. And he is. Of course, you would say that. Well, Byron, he said that. Then you repeated it, and I said he is. You confirmed it. And the tens are trying to help Will on. Ty oh. Dillinger here, the yes. perfect ten, trying to break the hands here of Aiden English. Yes. I need some separation here with Aiden English. Almost got it. And Dillinger trying to, oh, trying to big off English here. Backs him into the corner, creates a little bit of breathing room, and a shot to the lower back. You know, Aiden English is also a very emotional person. You know, we see him with the agony of defeat. Uh oh. Oh, oh with a drop kick right in the midsection, and Dillinger's got an opportunity now. How about the agony of abdominal pain? Oh. English is down in a bad way. Uh, John, uh, if I recall, Aiden English cried once after losing a matchup. Yes, he did. Oh, oh. Man, that's a little overboard. Uh, manly tears, right? Oh, They're old crocodile tears. Off the ropes here. Here goes Ty Dillinger. Oh, he takes down English. And it's the opening Dillinger needed here in this match. Dillinger's taking a lot of oh. punishment in this matchup. Big clothesline takes down English and a stop. That was Dillinger's moment. Dillinger's feeling it. Dillinger exposing the knee. You know what's coming next. Oh, and English gets out of the ring. Smart. And Ty Dillinger was looking for the tie breaker and couldn't get a hold of Oh, he pushed in time. Suckered him in. And English using his environment to his advantage. Like back into the ring here. Hold on. Oh, and a spy buster. Covered by Dillinger. English kicked out. Reminiscent of the little four horse Bernard Anderson spine buster. Watch this again. Oh, oh, man. Look at that. Fine right to the canvas. The credit to Aiden English. A tough out here on the battleground kickoff. A bear down on the forest floor. Oh! <laughs> you hear that? Al Dillinger going up top here with Aiden English. Ty Dillinger looking to take oh, yeah, English off the top. Line. That's a long way down. Keep the flex on the mind. And trying to pry oh, English off. Both these superstar competitors trying to make a name for themselves. A big opportunity here on a battleground kickoff. Pull out all the stops, I agree. Oh, a hit punch there dropping Dillinger. And English now off the top. This is, uh, we don't typically see this. Second attempt from early in the match. Cross body, rolls through. Covered by Dillinger, nearly had him. Almost backfired. Oh, wait a uh -oh. minute. Uh oh Now wants the tiebreaker again up on the shoulders. And English able to get to the apron. Great counter by Aiden English. Hanging over dear life. Oh, wow. He's first into the campus. They oh, had it. Cover. Kick out oh, oh. by Dillinger. Damn. English can't believe it. I'm kind of shocked myself. Approaching 10 minutes now until the battleground paper view. And Aiden English oh, no. down. There's those emotions you talked about. Let me get some Kleenex. You see how hard it is for competitors to make a name for themselves. But this is a prime spot for both these two superstars. And one of them is going to come off with a great victory here. And Aiden just needs to compose himself. Yeah, he's, he's trying to calm himself. Wasting valuable time in doing so. Now English mocking the perfect 10, Ty Dillinger. And Aiden English thinks he might have this in hand here. Oh my, going up on the shoulders. He's going for Ty Dillinger's move. No way. So he wanted to turn him into a perfect zero. Wait a minute, cover here from English. Oh, broken up. Now Dillinger a cover and a kick out. Dillinger to the opposite corner. English misses. And here comes Dillinger. 
first into the top turnbuckle. Oh, yeah. well, now, oh, face first goes into the canvas. Dillinger could be in trouble. English got it. Able to put him away. It's brilliant. Here is your winner. What a great win for Aiden English. No crying tonight. Both sides of Melody pulled it off. Aiden English able to keep his emotions in check. And he takes out Ty Dillinger here on the Battleground kickoff. For more, let's throw it back to our panel, hosted by our own Renee Young. Quite a victory out there for Aiden English against the perfect 10, Ty Dillinger. Wow. Yeah, I think a lot of people here are surprised by that one. Good for him. I mean, he, Gotta he's give it not up. the best singer, but dude is tough. Whoa, well, I think he did good. Hey, 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 hey. Yeah. 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 All right. And again, you're married to Jennifer Hudson. She's amazing. So that was our first bit of action here tonight, and there is plenty more to come. But here's the thing. The only place you can see it is on the WWE Network. So head on over to www.network.com to sign up to start your 30-day free trial. In 30 days, we have a lot happening. That's right, including tonight, you sign up right now, and you're going to get Battleground, including not only a huge flag match between John Cena and Rusev, but the WWE Championship up for grabs in a Punjabi prison match. It's the champion, the modern-day Maharaj, Jinder <laughs> Mahal, against rated uh, R RKO. Yeah, the rated not R Not rated R RKO. Yeah, you almost got me to say Randy Orton. Yep, yep. And not to mention, the night before SummerSlam, you're going to get NXT TakeOver Brooklyn. Yep, right there in the home of Jay-Z, we're going to see Drew McIntyre take on Bobby Roode for the NXT Championship. Yeah. And if that's not enough reasons to sign up tonight, when you do sign up tonight, you get all of the stuff we've talked about. Plus, you're invited to the biggest party of the summer, and we all know what that is. SummerSlam. Yeah. You gotta be a part of SummerSlam at all costs by signing up tonight. So you heard these guys head on over to www.network.com to sign up. Start your 30-day free trial right now. And as the clock rolls on here on the Battleground Kickoff Show, we are moments away from going live on the WWE Network. It is all happening right here. We've got, uh, for the third time in WWE, history we witnessed a Punjabi prison match and um, we've got everybody making their way inside here but courtesy of Facebook we actually got to see uh, the WWE champion make his way inside the Wells Fargo Center today Jerry. got the Singh brothers of course checking in on that uh, nice white limousine yes. yeah one way to nice arrive ride. the Maharaja looks ready for business tonight Look at Say it, Sam, one more time. There you go. <laughs> Maharaja Sahib, Jinder Mahal Sahib, Swagat hai aapka. Kuch kunto mein aap saamna karenge Randy Orton ka. Is vak kya soch rahe hain aap? Hum sab Randy Orton ka saamna nahi karenge. Hum Randy Orton ko haraenge. Aur ye WWE Championship retain karenge. Maharaja Sahib, you are in Punjab and you have chosen the Punjabi prison match. Why did you set up a set-up? I am in Punjab and the share of the Punjabi prison match. This is our match. We are not going to be able to win Randy Orton. Today, Randy Orton's career will be finished. Thank you very much. Thank you. The Hindi announce team on the job out there. Now for the ultimate prize in SmackDown Live, the current champion Jinder Mahal will face off against the Apex Predator Randy Orton, a 13-time champion in pursuit of a title that's eluded him as of late since the arrival of the Maharaja. I'm not leaving this ring until I get what I want.
battleground. It will be you and me locked in a Punjabi prison. that you are choosing to be locked up in that prison with me? Caged up like an animal with me, isolating any real advantage that you ever had. There'll be no running, no hiding. There'll be no sing, brothers. There'll be no escape, Jimmy. This is going to be my view right before I take back what's mine. Tweet sent out by the Maharaja Jinder Mahal earlier. The time has come to put Randy Orton's legacy to rest. The Punjabi prison match is tonight, of course, the stipulation that he chose. And Randy wrote, the match type doesn't matter. The result will be the same. Of course, Randy Orton looking to become the 14-time WWE champion. But how special does it feel to be here in Philadelphia? And we've got this Punjabi prison match set up behind us. It's been 10 years since we've seen this. Yeah, 10 years. This, this, I'm sorry. But this thing has gone so back and forth. I mean, Randy Orton had the title. Jinder Mahal now has the title. Randy Orton gets the rematch. But Jinder Mahal gets the stipulation. They're going to be in the Punjabi prison. What is going to happen? It's history. That's the point, right? It's history. We never get to see this match. Yep. Randy Orton's legacy is on the line. History. And let's not forget, Jinder picked this match for a reason. He picked the stipulation of the Punjabi prison. Yep. It's got something up his sleeve. I'm sure he does, but we all get to see that here. We are about to go live on the WWE Network. So you can head on over there to sign up to the WWE Network. The only place you are going to get to see this Punjabi prison match, this ominous, eerie structure here at the Wells Fargo Center. As we get set for battleground, the time is now for the Punjabi prison match. These colors are worn with pride. They bring hope and leave legacies. These colors are earned, fought for with courage. Failure is not an option. The colors tell their story, and their story begins on the battleground. WWE superstars are not invincible. They take real risks and endure unimaginable pain. Be smart, be safe. Don't try this at home. Hi, this is Booker T, and you're watching WWE Network. Now can you take that, sucker?
these colors are worn with pride. They bring hope and leave legacies. These colors are earned, fought for with courage. Failure is not an option. These colors do not run. Your American dream is nothing but a lie. In my country, we go out there, we march, we show our strength. America is a joke. I will prove to you how much fight America has. Why don't we set that flag up in a corner? I'll set the United States flag up in a corner. And Bruce Esther is one-on-one -on -one with John Cena in an old-school flag match. These colors are steeped in tradition. 1.3 billion people of the great nation of India know that the modern day Maharaja is the greatest champion. He disrespected my family right in front of me. Put me in a match with Jinder Mahal for the WWE title. Randy, you got your rematch. However, Jinder Mahal chooses a stipulation. I don't give a damn what the stip is. That title's coming home where it belongs. It will be you and me locked in a Punjabi prison. One of the rarest and cruelest matches. This is a vicious structure. The only way to win is to escape. These colors lead to opportunity. There's going to be a five-way elimination match. The winner of that match will face the SmackDown Women's Champion at SummerSlam. Zum ersten Mal seit zehn Jahren sehen wir ein Punjabi Prison Match. Kann der moderne Maharaja die Viper heute wieder entgiften? 
And of course, our Spanish friend, Carlos Cabrera and Marcelo Rodriguez. Gracias, señor. Regresa a la ominosa de la estructura de la presión cuñal donde se va a disputar el campeonato de doble doble. Maharaja. Quien de bajar defiende a frente a Randy Orton. Yo loco por ver qué fémina conseguirá su pasaje de oro para SummerSlam por el campeonato femenino de SmackDown Live. The following contest scheduled for one fall is for the SmackDown Tag Team Championship. Making their way to the ring at a combined weight of 479 pounds. The SmackDown Tag Team Champions, Jimmy and Jay, the Uso. Big way to get us started here at WWE Battleground. The Usos prepared to defend their SmackDown Tag Team titles. This rivalry has intensified, especially three weeks ago on SmackDown. A rap battle between the New Day and the Usos. It cut deep, and it sparked this rivalry to a whole new level. Hey, man. Ain't you Kofi Kingston? Then you used to be Jamaican. Nah, you was Jamaican. You and your brother, your tag champs. You turned the universe into believers. Mm -hmm. But please always remember, you were absolutely nothing till your wife put you on Total Divas. Oh, so the battle fell apart, and guess Judge Wale stepped in. Y'all disqualified. The winners of the rap battle, New Day! And by this rap battle, it really set off the Usos to the point where we're at tonight here for Battleground. Yeah, and this actually goes back years. I mean, you may recall a couple years ago, Jey Uso had a career-threatening shoulder injury that he suffered in a match with Xavier Woods. Now, it wasn't Xavier Woods' fault. It was something that happened, but we learned how vindictive the Usos can be in defense of the SmackDown Tag Team Championship. John, you've talked about it before. These are two of the best tag teams of the last 10 years. I think the last uh, 10 years, period, in this business, these are the two best right here. You have the longest reigning tag team champions uh, in the New Day, 483 days, and the longest reigning SmackDown champions right now. Oh! oh. Right oh. out of the gate. Kobe yeah. Kingston with a big drop kick into a cover here in a kick out. I believe it's uh, Jay Uso to start off the match. Well, Uso just got rocked. Well, think about it, guys. Uh, at Money in the Bank, the Usos, they took a walk, retained their titles via count out, and uh, New Day go with speed here to start things off. Yeah, look, look at this. this. Look at, oh! Look at the strategy. Look at this barrage, yeah. a cover and a kick out. Look at the strategy of the New Day. You leave the big gun, Big E, outside, oh. and you go with a smaller, faster lineup. Xavier Woods and Kofi Kingston here tonight. Big E had competed at Money in the Bank, mixing things up. Oh, I spoke to the Usos a lot before this match. I can guarantee whoa, 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 wait a minute. they were prepared. Oh. They were prepared for Big E to be in this match. And look at this. The Usos working extraordinarily well together. Tied up in Xavier. Look at him go here. One of the Usos is hammering away on Xavier. And they call it the Uso Penitentiary for a reason. Oh. You just feel the disdain and the ill will. The Usos half of the New Day. Watch this cover game. here and a kick out. Watch this. This is where they turn it around here and boom, yeah. right there on the jaw. Jimmy Uso helping out Jay. Yeah. Oh, Jimmy. leeway by the official, but you see, Dang. he just takes one little gasp and the Usos take over. Yeah. The Usos coming in strong. Number one trend worldwide. Hashtag WWE Battleground. Xavier Woods is rocked right now. Oh, at the hands of the champs. We saw the New Day trying to incorporate that strategy earlier on, trying to start out quick out of the gates, but Russo's were able to uh, fend off that early flurry. Look, uh, Russo's weathered that storm. I think they got taken by surprise that they started with Kofi and Xavier, and now the Usos have changed strategy and they're grounding the fast guys. It shows you how great the Usos are at adapting. Boom, right there, takes down Woods. Now into a cover, scrambles for the cover, and a kick out by Woods. Remember, John, this is the building where the, uh, the New Day set the record for the longest tag team title reign. Jay Uso dropping Xavier Woods with authority. How sweet would that be for the Usos to take out New Day here in Philly? Look, look I, I, I agree with you, John, but I, I'm not sure the Usos care where it is. I, I think the Usos just want to put this in the rearview mirror, the fact that the New Day claims they're the best tag team. Yeah, you know, Uso told me earlier, we're out here to just squash the hype. Squash all the praise that the New Day's received. 
And now Jimmy, oh man. A little tribute to Uncle Umaga. Cover, cover here on Woods and a kick out. The Hall of Fame father is one of the, well, a couple of the greatest tag teams of all time. Took the titles off the Von Erichs in their heyday down in Texas. There's been all Usos here for the last few minutes of this match. Is the middle rope is Jimmy Uso. Oh, oh man. man. The face. Come hey, on. It just takes one opening. Just one opening, and the Usos capitalize that quick. Official never saw it. Okay. Jay Uso now legal back into this match. Too easy. Man, it's too easy here against the New Day into the backbreaker. Oh, right to the Man. chest. Hey, and if you're New Day, you got to question your strategy right now. Well, look at how confident Jey Uso is taking his time. You can't let the New Day hang around. Uso's done a very good job of isolating Xavier Woods, who is reaching desperation mode to make a tag. Oh, and a big right hand to Woods. And Woods has been rocked for several minutes now. He's not been able to regain himself. Oh! Jey Uso right now just firing at Will. Oh! Uh-oh. Wait a minute, going up to the top here. Jey Uso trying to take Xavier Woods off the top, looking for a superplex maybe. Muscle Woods here trying to take him off. Oh, and a big head bump by Woods. And Woods is trying to create a little bit of separation here, trying to get to Kofi Kingston. And Jay barely hanging on. Oh, and another head bump sends Jay to the mat. And can Woods capitalize? Woods has got to make the tag somehow, some way. He's thinking about something else. Up to the top here. Oh, oh, man. Man. Kick right on the planet. And Jey Uso is completely on the other side of the ring. That might have been the last gas for Xavier Woods. They got a clear lane to Kofi. Certainly doesn't have enough to capitalize. There he goes. Here comes Kofi. And Kofi flying through the air. And now Kingston, the fresh man here in this matchup, is legal. Kofi knows he's got the opportunity to turn this match around. Close range there with the drop oh. kick and a stop. Jimmy Uso coming in strong and taken out by Kofi. And then New Day boom drop. Kofi and the New Day zeroing in on the tag team titles, and Jimmy Uso got out of the way. Out onto the apron goes Kofi Kingston. Oh! Wait a minute. Oh, man. Right on the side of the face. And Kofi sends Jimmy over the top. We'll be pinning off both Usos. Tag made to Xavier Woods. He's legal. What is Kofi thinking here? Kofi going up to the top turnbuckle. Oh, 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 no, no, no. Trust me. He's about to fall. Oh, it is. Power oh, it. Into the floor. Oh, and Xavier Woods caught with an uppercut. Don't forget, Woods is a legal man. Now, Woods is down and out. I think if they get Woods in the ring right now, they cover him. If they win right now, the Usos can walk out of here. The tag team champions retain them. So the Usos are more content to admire their work right now. You'd be admiring their work if you had the New Day down. And hey, look at Big E guys over there trying to help out his, his teammates with the rest of the New Day. They're, they're out cold here. Jimmy Uso back up here, and the official tell him to get back into the ring. Now Jimmy up to the top here to close out Xavier Woods. Could this end the New Day's chances here tonight? Uh, no, no, no. What about the splash? And now Woods. Oh, wow. And Woods pulled off. Over by Woods. Oh, what a kick out. What a move by Xavier. Watch this again. Very creative. Watch this. Oh. And Jimmy yeah. Russo is not most yeah. kicking out right there. Yeah. Where yeah. in the world did Xavier find the energy to pull that off? And we almost had new tag team champions. 
Yeah, I think New Day took a, a real risk with his strategy going with the smaller team, but it may be about to pay off. Now Woods thinking about the oh, auto roll, oh, caught no. on the shoulders, uh -oh. caught on the shoulders of Jimmy Uso. Oh, oh, back of the neck into the top turnbuckle, tagged by Jay. Uh, uh, Woods is in trouble, guys. Woods is in a world of trouble. Uh, Caught wow. in a Samoa drop. Tossed into the Samoa drop. Cover. Oh, oh. Uso comes close on Oh, no. Big E is stunned and so are the Usos. Big E is seeing their chances leave the arena. At the same time, Woods is fighting after this. Oh, oh look, look, look is fighting, but Kofi Kingston is still out from that double power bomb on the floor. Xavier's in there by himself. Yeah, but look at the positioning here for Xavier Woods. Jay full in esteem. Oh, come with an elbow. And Xavier Woods is back up to his feet. Oh, out onto the apron, Woods. Oh, come with a right. What a right hand. Another tag made. Jay Uso. Oh, the leg kick out by Xavier. And an insecurity to Jay Uso. Woods is just hitting anything that moves at this point. He got to. Whatever it takes. Woods is doing his best to keep the team's hopes alive by himself. Going up to the top here. Look, Jimmy is not the legal man yet. Wait a minute. Oh, my gosh. Wow. And he's legal. That's the legal man. That's it. Check out. How in the world did he oh. check out? What? I thought for sure the Usos, look at the eyes of Big E. Xavier Woods, how in the world is he still in this match? This is incredible. Look at this, Jimmy was not the legal guy. I don't know if Xavier knew who was, but he's about to find a foot that from the legal man. Pulls him away from the ropes, does everything he should do, hooks the leg. And Xavier Woods finds a way to stay in this tag team championship. Well, we are seeing incredible guts, incredible resiliency right now from Xavier Woods. Talk about an instinct. An instinct just simply to survive by Xavier Woods with absolutely no help. He is on an island right now. Kofi Kingston is still out of it. And this may be it. Isolating the life left leg here. Looking for a submission here is Jimmy Uso. Can he make Kofi Kingston and Xavier Woods tap out? Submit here to the Usos at Battleground. Xavier trying to hold on. Even if Xavier finds a way to get the ropes, he's got no partner to help him right now. Woods trying to get to the bottom rope. Big E trying to cheer him on. Inches away. Yeah. And Big E has to make the way. And Jimmy drags him to the center yeah. of the ring. Jimmy Uso could get the tap out victory for the Usos. Can you imagine the rap battle coming out of the Uso penitentiary if they make the New Day tap out? Look at the torque on the knee. Xavier Woods, how I much? I can tell you, the leg is not meant to bend that way. How much more this can Xavier Woods take? This is pure guts. Look at the face By the on PAC, Woods. Xavier Woods. Woods trying to fight. Trying to call here to the bottom rope. Big E trying to fire up his buddy. It's in closer and closer. And Xavier's so close, trying to break the submission, but he will. And Jimmy Uso got to the count of five. And he took every bit of it, just like he knew Jimmy Uso would. And Xavier Woods even going to be able to walk now. Xavier's putting on a performance of a lifetime, but he's still out there by himself, and he is still in complete trouble. I think it's just a matter of time. Yeah. Oh, wait a minute. Right. Kofi Kingston. Kofi Kingston is springing to life. And hold on a second. Huh? Oh, midnight hour. Oh, do they do it? Wow. Do they pull it off? Oh, you do it? Oh, come on. Pull it off. Oh, wow. Close. We, we'd almost forgot about oh, Kofi God. Kingston to be power bombed out on the floor. Look, I think that was their best and their last chance. What a clutch move, move that would have been. Almost pulled a rabbit out of the hat. Watch this, Kofi Kingston, one more gasp from the New Day, and boom, right there in the chest. Listen, give credit to the Usos. They refuse to go away in this fight. Well, the same can be said for the New Day. New Day's put so many people away with that move. The Usos find a way to stay alive. Now Kofi out on the apron. What's he thinking here? Jimmy Uso legal. Oh, super kick! Tag made to Jay. Jay wide open here on Kofi. Splash for the game. Cover. Oh, wow. New Day is still alive. Wow. New Day is still alive. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. What a match.
matchup. What a match. The Usos did everything they wanted to do. One, two, this. Boom! Right on the butt. And then leaps for the tag. And Jay Uso had plenty of airspace for this. Hit this splash full on a Kofi Kingston. Again, how did Kingston stay in this match? You gotta wonder, is this the point where frustration starts to set in for the champs? Tag made to Jimmy Uso. This is awesome. Yes, it is. This could be terrible for Kofi Kingston. I mean, look, look, look what the Usos are thinking here, John. Going to both turnbuckles now. Kofi Kingston. Oh, no. oh, oh wait, Xavier Woods takes out Jay Uso. And Kofi able to get out of the way. Kofi with another opportunity. Hey, just a moment's hesitation, and it calls to Uso. Second yeah. life for the New Day. Xavier's legal. Oh, got it. Paradise. Oh, no. Is he going to go for it again? Uh, wow! Oh, he got him! Cover! No yeah. down, champions! <laughs> Here are your winners and the new SmackDown Tag Team Champions, the New Day! They did it! The New Day has done it! The New Day is back on top of the Tag Team Mountain of SmackDown Live! The New Day are three-time tag team champions. It's what you'd expect out of the two best tag teams we've seen in the last 10 years. You expect a classic match like this, and congratulations, The New Day. This match was every bit as competitive as we imagined it would be, and it was a well-deserved victory for The New Day. Closing moments here, and credit to the Usos here. What a fight here. They're thinking about going to both Just posts. a moment hesitation. That's all The New Day needed. Jimmy Uso missed on the splash, and then Kofi Kingston with trouble in paradise, right on the face. Watch this leap by Xavier Woods. This is incredible. Uh -huh. um, all the way across wow. the ring with the elbow drop, and the New Day become the first team ever to be Raw and SmackDown Tag Team Champions. <laughs> what a way to start Battleground. What an effort from the Usos, but we have new tag team champions in the New Day. Congratulations, New Day. It will be a night forever etched in history. Welcome to WrestleMania. During the Battleground kickoff show, AJ Styles said Kevin Owens is not man enough to be United States Champion. Styles can back up his name later on tonight as he defends against Kevin Owens. I cannot wait to see that, but we got to acknowledge that was an incredible SmackDown Tag Team title match we just saw. It's what you expect out of two incredible tag teams. Congrats to New Day. Unbelievable history. Expected on SmackDown Live. That's exactly. what SmackDown Live is all about. Absolutely right. So the New Day get a little revenge off of Money in the Bank. The question is, will Shinsuke Nakamura? We want to take you back to the Money in the Bank ladder match. And this was Shinsuke Nakamura making his entrance into the match. A field of six competitors was taken out by Baron Corbin before Shinsuke Nakamura could even get into the match. And Corbin sought from the get-go to eliminate Nakamura from the equation. That's a controversial yet wise strategy for Corbin to take out one of the favorites in the Money in the Bank ladder match. Corbin did a hell of a number on Shinsuke Nakamura but go on to win the Money in the Bank contract.
personifies the Japanese strong style. Mr. Money in the Bank, the spotlight belongs on one man and one man alone, and that is Baron Corbin. We saw what Corbin did at the Money in the Bank pay-per-view. Shinsuke Nakamura able to win the Money in the Bank contract, but it was three weeks ago that Corbin had not forgotten about Shinsuke Nakamura. Shinsuke, last week you said Baron Corbin is right to be afraid by you. What did you do? Afraid of you? Huh? Do I look afraid of you? Huh? Do I look afraid of you? And John, this is a rivalry that's gotten extraordinarily heated very quickly since Money in the Bank. What do you think it is about Baron Corbin that he sees in Nakamura that he just plain doesn't like? Well, Baron Corbin plain doesn't like anybody, but I think he sees somebody that's very similar. These are two of the best strikers in the world today. And when you have two great strikers out there that both want to prove the dominance over the other. These two first time ever one on one here. Remember, Shinsuke Nakamura has not lost a one on one match since coming to SmackDown Live in April. And look at Nakamura go. This is, oh, this is what's so dangerous about Nakamura. He was laughing in the face of Corbin. And now those strikes unloading. The former LA star against the former Cold oh. boxer. I mean, this is a dream matchup. I talked to Matt Blue, head coach of the WWE Performance Center. He's been in the ring with Nakamura in Japan. He said, getting kicked by Nakamura is like getting hit by a baseball bat. One. And Nakamura just staring down Corbin, saying, come get some. And Corbin's got second thoughts. Nakamura, 2002, became the youngest IWGP champion, defeating Goto. 23 years and nine months, been a, been a rock star over there as well. And now Corbin happy to return the favor. It's not an important night here for Baron Corbin, but also an important time in his career as Mr. Money in the Bank. Absolutely, you, you've got a Punjabi prison match. What better time than have a contract that you could cash in at any time? Whoever comes out of that, the champion. Corbin, oh, taking a look here at Nakamura. Nakamura playing some mind games with the Lone Wolf. That's what Nakamura's been absolutely best at since he's come here to WWE. He's able to oh, get, oh, get in the mind and couldn't tell he got the better of that exchange. Oh, and a big right, and that was easy. Yeah, I think the answer would be Corbin. And Corbin able to drop Nakamura and he's stopping away on Shinsuke. I don't know if Nakamura plays mind games on purpose or it's just some innate ability he has to get an advantage over someone psychologically. I asked him about it. He says he just does things. He doesn't think. You know, you're be a marching to the beat of your own drummer. There's many in the WWE Universe. They think Shinsuke Nakamura knows exactly what he's doing when he gets in the ring, how he's toying with the man's mind. But right now it's Corbin who's toying with the body of Shinsuke Nakamura. Simply yet effective targeting the lower back of Shinsuke Nakamura is Baron Corbin. You want to take out all those kicks? You want to take the power of those strikes? You take out the core. Baron Corbin has that bear hug sunk in deep and 
arm, head underneath that left arm. It's exactly where you want to be. 6'8", 275-pound frame of Corbin hanging on here with some force here on Nakamura. You see the pain in the eyes of Nakamura and the elbows here trying to create a little bit of space between he and Corbin. Nakamura got that space. Corbin responds in kind. Oh, 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 wait a minute, wait a minute, got a hold of the arm, got a hold of the arm, thinking about a triangle, it's Nakamura, but Corbin is still standing. Got a hold of the left arm here, does Nakamura, and Corbin's got to be careful, as does Nakamura. Oh my goodness. The official was checking her shoulders here. Well, Nakamura able to break it. Oh, what a big boot. And now Corbin to put away Nakamura, shoulders down and a kick out. Saw the versatility in the offense of Nakamura, but there is no replacement for sheer power. That's what we saw from Baron Corbin. Oh, submission moves, a great counter, just kicked somebody in the face really hard. Now, if you're Shinsuke Nakamura at this point in the match, I mean, oh, this kind of power on display here from Corbin, what do you do? You notice Corbin realizes he's trying to let Nakamura get any space this time on the outside oh, into the barricade. Nakamura has been a big fight after big fight. You, you mentioned Big Tenzai, who he, he fought in Japan. He's fought big guys. I'm not sure he's fought anybody with the striking power, though, of Baron Corbin. Oh, and again, into the barricade, the lower back, taking some punishment. You stop, Corbin! And the official administering the 10 count at Baron Corbin, dumping Nakamura back inside. been all caught in his way of systematically destroying anybody that gets between him and a future WWE Championship. Oh. Byron, you cover much of Baron Corbin. I'm doing pretty good, Tommy. Covered much of his career in NXT. Not only did he have a disdain for the WWE Universe, but also stars who came here to WWE like Nakamura, who had this following. Uh, I remember when he first walked in NXT, he went up to guys like Seth Rollins, guys like Cesaro, and said, Look, I'm going to win more championships, I mean, event, more pay per views than you ever will. And that confidence has never wavered. Uh, Corbin, a bit of a pariah in the locker room, I can imagine. What does he care? He's a money in the bank holder. He didn't come here to make friends. Corbin will tell you he came here to beat people up, make money, and win championships. And one more time here, back into the bear hug, grinding away here. More again with those elbows trying to create some space. Again, the back into the turnbuckle, and Corbin saying all day. Yeah, Corbin had a game plan. It all started with the assault to the ribs outside of the barricade. Corbin has stayed true to that game plan. Uh, look at Shinsuke. Nakamura able to oh, try to get away here from Baron Corbin. Uh oh. Got a hold of the throat here. And Corbin, Corbin wanted a choke slam, but it looked like Nakamura stunned Corbin for a second. I'm not sure if Nakamura got all of it, but he got a temporary restore. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, oh, caught him with the left. And Corbin's down to one knee here against Nakamura. This is an important moment here for Shinsuke. Got to take advantage of this opportunity. Yeah, and Shinsuke's only caught him with two glancing blows oh. so far. <laughs> that wasn't glancing. No, and uh, you can hear these all over Philadelphia. Uh oh, oh no, caught by Corbin. Oh, and the right connect, and Corbin is still on his feet. Now uh, Nakamura. Oh, and the drop kick takes down Corbin. That's huge for Nakamura to have Corbin off his feet. What are you going to do with it now? Nakamura's got Corbin down. Mr. Money in the Bank in a lot of trouble now with WWE's rock star. Corbin said he was looking for a fight. Corbin's found one. Has he ever? Good vibrations in the corner. Nakamura not afraid to fight up to Baron Corbin. Hustling up that 300-pound frame. Nakamura lining him up. Boom, right in the midsection. And now Corbin in a bad way here in a place he does not want to be. Oh, and again, Nakamura with a great follow-up here on Corbin. Now Nakamura collapses into the cover and a kick out by Baron Corbin. 
Now, John, it's a, it's a incredible to see how those strikes so well placed by Nakamura can be so devastating. Look at how Corbin's doubled over. Yeah, we are watching a physical, right, physical right matchup between plexus. two great strikers. Nakamura identifying the target area on Corbin. Now Corbin, oh. wait a minute, slides underneath the five ball. Here comes Corbin. Look at that. Good grief. Wow. Could this do it for Corbin? Hooked to both Good legs. Good night. Nakamura is still in it. It's that frightening quickness that has brought that Baron Corbin to so much success. Look, you can talk about great alleys like a J.J. Water. Somebody has that rare combination of strength and speed. Look at this. This just isn't possible by a guy Baron Corbin size. And look at this. That just took Nakamura out of his boots. Watch this in slow motion. Oh, oh man. Uh, and meanwhile, back in the ring, Corbin. Oh, just more right hands to Shinsuke Nakamura. Talk about a game changer. Nakamura is just lucky to still be in this match. Corbin soaking it all in. Corbin. Oh, Corbin thought about a suplex. Nakamura. Oh, wow. Got a counter in midair, and here come the knees. Nakamura back to his wheelhouse. Oh, able to rain those knees right into the shoulder of Corbin. Yeah, and the first knee was the one that Corbin didn't see. That's the one that'll knock you out. This is the point where Nakamura can hone in on a body part. Oh, face first. And Nakamura, how much did it take out of the back of Nakamura in the process? All of the core work that Baron Corbin has been doing on Nakamura, working on his ribs and lower back. Wait a minute, Dad. Wait a minute. Look at Shinsuke Nakamura. Thinking about the Kinshasa knee strike. Baron Corbin right in the area. Oh, no, no. Deep six. Deep six by Corbin. Cover. And Nakamura is still in it. That counter there was brought to you just by size and strength of Baron Corbin. Watch this. Shinsuke was singing out the knee strike, and then this is oh, just using the momentum against you. Plants Nakamura. Oh, but Shinsuke able to stay in this fight. Yeah, and Baron still reeling from those knees that Shinsuke put all over him. Both these men are just spent. These men are shell shocked right now as well. Corbin can barely stand. Nakamura can barely get to his feet. We've seen two of the best strikers today land a ton of blows on each other. Oh, look at this. Oh. Oh, and here comes Nakamura firing back here on Corbin. Trying to respond to Mr. Money in the bank. Oh! Uh-oh, uh-oh. Corbin's got a hold of Nakamura, wanted it again. Oh! And into a backstabber of sorts. Not enough to stun Corbin. Now Nakamura. Oh, who spins into the kick and takes down Corbin. And Nakamura trying to gather himself here. Can he put away Barrett? Corbin to the back wow. of the neck. Nakamura can strike from every angle. Nakamura is feeling it from the WWE Universe. Nakamura trying to psych himself up. Wait for Corbin to get positioned. Corbin is in no position to do anything. Well, the very close is it. Nakamura's mercy. And the last shot for Nakamura to the back of the neck may have put down Corbin here. And Nakamura's going to have to come up with another strategy here. What does he do? Disqualification, Shinsuke Nakamura!
match. Corbin was down. Oh, right this here to the face. And Nakamura would unload with this right to the back of the neck. To the point that Nakamura wanted to keep knocks and knee strikes. However, Corbin wasn't in position for it. Watch this. Watch this as Corbin. Boom! Right there below the belt. I agree with you, John. I think Corbin felt like he had no other option. Since they had him on the ropes. So Corbin, Corbin smiling? Come to uh, Corbin. Oh. The case right to the midsection. And now, end of days from Corbin. Yeah, that proves a lot after the match. Corbin didn't win, but I think Corbin just sent a message. Corbin's proud of his work. He knew it was going to be a physical fight. It was a physical, physical fight. Take one more look at this. Baron Corbin wasn't finished. Came in with the money in the bank. Face right to the gut. And then Corbin doing what he does best. The end of days to Nakamura. And Corbin blatantly gets himself disqualified. And then leaves a calling card for Nakamura in the process. Here's a calling card. You wish you could You wish. You know, I can learn a trick. I can do something no one else can. Oh my god. This is not true, is it? There's a lot of things in our lives that can trap us. You know, we can do whatever we want if we just believe we're able to. Yeah. On Blu ray and DVD, August 1st. Kevin Owens said earlier on tonight during the Battleground kickoff show, I have always been the new face of America. And tonight, after I beat AJ Styles and win back my United States title, I'm going to remind the world. Talk about a rivalry that's been extremely physical. Kevin Owens and AJ Styles later on for the United States title, but how about physical? Shinsuke Nakamura and Baron Corbin, different degree. Yeah, what a, a heck of a fight we just witnessed Fought at, right after an incredible tag team match. How great is Battleground? We're going to need ice packs on tap tonight. Absolutely. We are on a roll so far here at Battleground. Coming up next, a fatal five-way elimination match, all for an opportunity to go to SummerSlam next month to face the division's brightest star, the champion, Naomi. A good champion accepts and loves competition. And I think the more women I face, the more experience I have in the ring is only gonna make me a better performer. I'm the champion and I wanna show the WWE Universe why I am. I want every match to be my biggest challenge. Cause I ain't come here to play. I'm here to glow. And my glow will always be on.
there's going to be a five-way elimination match between Becky Lynch, Charlotte Flair, Tamina, Natalia, and Locke. The winner will face the SmackDown Women's Champion at SummerSlam. The land of opportunity is going to be a This matchup is all going to be about an opportunity at the champion at SummerSlam. And joining us here on commentary in a few moments, the SmackDown Women's Champion, Naomi. Yeah, get a little dose of the glow. I like it. Well, remember what uh, Naomi said uh, earlier this week on SmackDown Live. She said, quote, I'll personally congratulate the winner, no matter who it is, on Sunday. Yeah. Yeah, I admire the fighting spirit of the SmackDown Live Women's Champion. Take on anyone at any time. Found the champion. She's been asking for competition for quite some time with the Shane McMahon and found out she's got a big opportunity at SummerSlam. Just exactly what she wanted. The Barclays Center. She and here comes one who could be the challenger. The following contest is a women's division five-way. Introducing first from Dublin, Ireland, Becky Lynch. Now, Becky Lynch picked up an important win this past week on SmackDown Live, knocking off Charlotte Flair, got over a personal hump, so to speak. And John, she is the only woman in this match to be a former women's champion. Not only a former, but the inaugural SmackDown Women's Champion, the number one draft pick out of women for SmackDown. And uh, speaking of women's champions, we are joined here at ringside by the top of the SmackDown Women's cool. Division, Naomi. Hello, gentlemen. Uh, how do you not need a defibrillator after that dance? <laughs> I would have a heart attack if I tried to do that, Naomi. Well, Jay Google, it's not really for older folks. Next you know what I mean? Oh, <laughs> wow. Tom You're Brady. right. <laughs> You're right, it's not, Naomi. <laughs> I couldn't do I it when kid, I was your age. I, I couldn't do it when I was your age. Uh, Tamina walking into this fatal five-way elimination match could be the most dangerous superstar, perhaps, Naomi, that you could face at SummerSlam. What a dominant, imposing figure. Absolutely. I've never been hit harder by anyone in my life. What is the relationship with Tamina and Lana? Do you know, Naomi? I don't know, but something's fishy. You know, Lana, she's manipulative and calculating. I would love to see how their relationship plays out tonight. Natalia! Battleground is Natalia's 38th career pay-per-view match, only one behind the Hall of Famer Trish Stratus for most among female superstars in WWE history. Tell me, how would you like to face Natalia at SummerSlam? Oh, I would love to face any of these ladies other than Lana, because I already beat her three times. Hey! Good point. 
Big of the devil. Hi. Next, making her way to the ring, the Ravishing Russian, Lana! Hey, it's Philadelphia. It could be the Rocky story all over, Naomi. You never know. Lana could win this thing. She could. Anything is possible. Not Rocky. She is ravishing. Rocky wasn't Russian. I about that. Rocky wasn't what? Was it Russian? In <laughs> fact, he beat a Russian. Rocky had problems with Thunderlips, too. He didn't do well in the sports entertainment ring. Alana looking to turn around her luck that she's had so far in the ring, has yet to find a victory here in WWE, although she's had championship opportunities. Would love to get back into that picture at SummerSlam. Alana's also done a tremendous job alienating herself amongst her uh, fellow women superstars. WWE Universe have pointed towards Charlotte Flair ever since she's arrived here as part of the Superstar Shake-Up to SmackDown Live as a future SmackDown Women's Champion is tonight one step closer. I'm going to talk to Charlotte about that. She admitted I, I kind of overestimated the dominance I would have in this division, but it's made me better. It forced me to reassess my game and come back stronger. Tell me, what do you think about Charlotte being called the queen and also the, the greatest acquisition SmackDown's ever had? Charlotte is amazing. She's incredible. We had an amazing match that unfortunately we didn't get to get to the finish too because it was interrupted by the welcoming committee. But um, she's definitely the queen, and we call her the queen for a reason. And she'd probably be champ right now if I wasn't here. And a reminder to watch your favorite TV shows and movies online with Hulu and get next day unlimited instant streaming access to all of WWE's weekly programs, including Raw, SmackDown, Main Event, NXT, and 205 Live. Visit Hulu.com for a free trial and start watching your favorite WWE shows today. And here we go. It's all about hashtag elimination match, a five-way elimination match. Here's how it works. The last woman standing will earn a title opportunity at SummerSlam. Can earn all eliminations by pinfall or submission. Oh, wow. And Charlotte in on Lana early. Charlotte's wanted Lana for a while now. Watch out. Natalia looking for a cover here on Charlotte and a kick out. And John, it's all five of these women at the same time. Eliminations can come at any moment. Yeah, and the key is to survive. Oh. You can't win it early, but you can lose it early. Oh, what a collision there. So do whatever you have to do to survive. Get into the last two. To me, find to a way to cover here. Oh. Kicked out by Becky Lynch. This is the kind of match you've got to have your head on a swivel. I mean, you got challenges coming at you oh. in every direction. Oh. Up to Mina here with Becky Lynch. Becky, oh, dropped down by Lana, and now Lana trying to pull oh, Becky. Oh, oh, man, into our desk. And meanwhile, back in the ring, it's a, uh, oh, it's Natalia was looking for the sharpshooter there on Tamina, and Lana back on the apron here. Look at this, and Lana. Look, she almost shocked the world oh, again. Oh. They only at one point. I, mean, I don't know about all that. Maybe I honestly don't feel like Lana should be in the ring with me or these women. She, 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 she doesn't deserve it. Well, maybe that belief has fired Lana up a little bit. Oh, and now Charlotte oh, and Tamina. Man. And Lana at the same time. And it seems no matter where uh, Tamina and Lana are, they're working together here. Oh, you're talking about an odd relationship. Not sure how this thing formed or exactly what it is between Tamina and Lana. Lana was, oh, it looked like Lana was directed traffic there for a second. Yeah. Whatever this relationship is, it's working to a T right now against Charlotte. At some point, it's going to come down to every woman for themselves. It, it, it comes down to an opportunity. Oh, oh it's wow. SummerSlam. This is, this is a smart strategy by Tamina and Lana. They're dissecting arguably one of the strongest women in this match in Charlotte. It's the key. It's like it's like when you go after someone like Big Show in a battle royal. You, you, you team up to get the big threat out. Then you fight it out among yourselves. Oh! And Charlotte pulling Tamina down to the mat, and now Charlotte eyeing down Lana. Oh, and a shot there on Tamina. Uh-oh. Watch out, Lana. 
Well, I'm just saying, bring it to the queen. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, look at Tamina. Oh, oh helping man. out man. Lana. Had a hold of the leg. What a team. Now, Lana, Lana into the cover here on Charlotte in a kick out. What an elimination that would have been. Naomi, yeah, this could be a threat to you, this team. Yeah, but look. Damn sure. Okay. It won't last long. Trust me. Excellent. They're both conniving. Oh. Oh. Suplex there by Tamina. Oh. Naomi, you know Tamina from Team Bad. You guys were tight at one point. Yeah, I know how tough oh, she is. I know man. how strong she is. I know what she's capable of. But I just can't figure out who's playing who. Is she playing Lana or is Lana playing her? Maybe they're working together. Maybe it, maybe it's mutual. Oh. Yeah, but at the end of the day, only one can hurt his championship. And Charlotte is taking a pounding here in this match from Tamina and Lana. Oh. Talked about Carla being one of the heavy favorites in this matchup. Look at this two on one here from Lana and Tamina in the corner. Oh, oh, oh. great fire, baby! Here comes Becky Lynch. Becky Lynch back to some revenge. Now Becky Lynch back into this fray. Oh, and now a somewhat of an even fight here, one on one on either side of the ring, and double back exploders. And Lana and Tamina sent outside of the ring. I'm not sure if that was a smart move by Becky Lynch. We gotta join in against Charlotte, get Charlotte eliminated. All right, now we got ourselves a, a rematch from SmackDown Live. Oh, cover here by Charlotte, able to get out of it with Becky Lynch. Wait a minute, oh, Lynch! Catching a hold here with Charlotte, and now Becky Lynch. Hey, Charlotte, who called Becky Lynch not a lot of competition last week. Oh, oh. the women that are certainly responsible for the women's revolution. <laughs> Along with our champ, Naomi. Oh. Just ringside. About the I'm not going to forget you, champ. Oh, oh, wait a minute. Off the neck for oh. comes Natalia to capitalize with the low drop kick. Cover here on Charlotte. No elimination. Another cover here on Becky. Available body and a kick out. No one has been eliminated yet here in this match. Oh, and now Becky with the elbow. What? Oh. And now Becky left alone here with Natalia. Two women who were once friends. Natalia stabbed Becky in the back once upon a time. Oh, bad landing coming for you, Natalia. And another Beck's bloater. Hasn't everybody stabbed Becky in the back? Maybe it's Becky. Not me. That's true. Oh, oh. never. Lana, you ready? And oh, and a back exploded to Lana. And Becky Lynch is clearing oh. house. Oh, uh oh. Oh, it was trying to do it Not to so Tamina. fast. Oh, oh. A kick right on point. That is called stunting momentum. Samoa oh. drop. And Tamina, oh, driven now by Charlotte Flair. Out of Charlotte, opposite side of the ring, runs over. Tremendous sense of urgency here for Charlotte. Right. No real estate for Charlotte, who's got a great opportunity. Right, cover, cover from Natalia and a kick out. And oh, and a big clothesline. Hmm. A strong discus clothesline there from Natalia. So, Naomi, who do you want to win this uh -oh. thing? Uh -oh. Hold on a second. Going to be going for an elimination here. What's the sharpshooter? Sharpshooter here on Charlotte Flair. Oh, this could be it. The target shelled out for Charlotte to die. The center of the ring. Look at that, Lana. Oh, face first. What is Lana doing? Don't do that at all. Well, Lana, wants, Lana wants the glory for herself oh. with a kick out by Charlotte. Wait a minute, now Becky, Becky into the match. Lana was throwing a, a fit there, and now into the disorder. Lana caught the disorder. Oh, Tamina with a kick. Once again, wow. Tamina there to save Lana. Now Tamina all over Becky Lynch with a Samoan drop. Oh, and a Man. spear there to Man. Charlotte through the ropes. God, this team of Tamina and Lana have been incredible. Don't give him too much credit. Counting on Lana. I don't know, champ. Oh, like come on. Oh, no, not Lana. 
And Lowe, so oh. close. Oh. Becky able to escape the pinfall. Into the disarmor again. Oh, I thought she was going to get a freebie. Disarmor on Lana and broken up again by Tamina. Tamina saved Lana again. Ah! Ah! Now Tamina one more time thinking about the Samoan crawl. Becky Lynch again wants the disarmor. Trying to rip the arm out of that socket. Becky pulling back as far as she can. And Tamina, no choice. Tamina has yeah. been eliminated. No Lana to save Tamina. <gasps> yeah, well, what do you mean? Go through Lana's mind now. Lana's all by herself. We're down to four women here. Oh, one oh. more time. <gasps> Thinking about the disorder again. Good night. See you later, alligator. <laughs> Lana has been eliminated. Lana's not alone anymore. She destroyed Tamina in the locker room. Second Tamina was gone. There goes Lana. Wait a minute. Cover. Cover by Natalia. Natalia has knocked out Becky Lynch. Oh, Becky wow. Lynch has been eliminated. Yeah, Natalia had a handful of tights, too. Oh, Charlotte. Runs over Natalia. Charlotte into the ring. Cover. Charlotte couldn't close out Natalia. We are down to two women. Three very rapid fire eliminations. It's either going to be Charlotte or Natalia that goes to SummerSlam to challenge for the SmackDown Women's title. Now quickly the complexion has changed. Now think about the figure four. Hold on a second. Into a cross arm breaker. But look at Charlotte's counter. Charlotte's got the hand grab. Natalia trying to break the clutches here. Okay. Oh, Charlotte. The only woman training the heart does. And Charlotte's down, Charlotte's <laughs> down, and Natalia able to avoid the pinfall. Uh oh, oh man. Man. Ah, Look at the strength of Charlotte. Charlotte. Charlotte trying to muscle up Natalia. Charlotte showing off the power. Oh, oh my God. This is unbelievable. Now that's just pure strength. Oh, oh. cover. <laughs> Charlotte. Talk about the frustration of putting away Natalia, but how about the, the strength that Charlotte had to expend just to get Natalia up for that power bar? So, so Naomi, Naomi, do one, do one of these competitors scare you more than the other one? Which Absolutely. one would you rather face? I would take either. I'd be honored to face either of these ladies. I think they're extremely talented. Abby is technically probably the most sound woman we have in our division. Charlotte, probably the most athletic next to me. Charlotte and I have unfinished business. I've never taken on Natty one-on-one, -on -one, especially at SummerSlam. This is about to be your answer right here, champ. Going up to the top. Charlotte. There we go. Oh. Oh. Natalia got the knees up in time and avoided disaster. Oh, that was going for the home run. And Charlotte, after two big attempts, the power bomb and the moonsault going awry. Now she's got to come up with a new plan. Oh, oh wow. And the neck that into the dirty. turnbuckle. Natalia wants the cover. Natalia, shoulders down. Natalia's going to SummerSlam. Here is your winner, Natalia. There's your opponent, Naomi. Right. Let's get it. Natalia, the most experienced woman in this division, and now she's earned herself a one-on-one -on -one meeting with the champ. doesn't pay the rent, Byron. An incredible match here. An incredible ring presence by Natalia. Just go back here to the closing moments of this match. It was down to two. Charlotte and Natalia. This moonsault was a thing of beauty, but Natalia, the yeah, veteran, like the this. double knees right there to the midsection, able to stop Charlotte right in her, in her tracks. But watch this incredible Ooh. ring presence. To see this opportunity here with that bottom turnbuckle and be able to take advantage of it. 
And that would close out Charlotte, and Natalya would punch her ticket in a SummerSlam. Naomi prepared to take on all challengers. It'll be Natalya and Naomi for the SmackDown Women's title next month in Brooklyn. Only buy one, get one for one dollar on select t-shirts. Thanks to Imagine Dragons for whatever it takes. The official theme song of WWE Battleground. It's off the album Evolve, available on iTunes and Spotify. Hey, it's been an eventful night already here at WWE Battleground. We learned from a little bit ago the new opportunity for Natalia going to SummerSlam to challenge Naomi and smack that one. Yeah, what an incredible match and what an incredible win by Natalia. Down to prove her claim. She says, if like anyone, anytime, she will do that at SummerSlam. Natalia's gonna get her opportunity, but coming up next, it's the opportunity for Kevin Owens to get back what he lost in glory to AJ Styles. Styles said to defend the title against KO, but so much has developed between these heated rivals since a spectacular opportunity arose on Independence Day. The ring is filling up the superstars. The winner of this match will earn a United States Championship opportunity against Kevin Owens. Chad Gable versus AJ Styles in a win in your in match. Phenomenal forearm! Styles is in the battle royal! AJ Styles still suffering from that incredible match. Oh, here we go. Whoa. Tonight on the Battleground kickoff. 
out. So Kevin Owens was hurt. He was very blunt. He said, I am out to get my title back. Plain and simple. He wanted to remind everyone that this is the Kevin Owens show. I spoke to Kevin Owens last week. Kevin Owens told me that was the worst and most embarrassing day of his life when he lost the U.S. Championship in Madison Square Garden. You've got to be highly concerned about the mindset, the stability of the emotions of Kevin Owens. He seems to be just flat out desperate. The last time Kevin Owens had a title opportunity, he put Chris and Jericho out of commission for good. Champion, look what you did today. He goes over today and throws out the first pitch of the Philadelphia Phillies. Of course, as bad as the Phillies are, he could have played if he stayed. <laughs> look, AJ Styles has done everything he said he was going to do. He said he's going to get a championship here. He said he's going to the Garden. He's going to win the U.S. Championship. AJ Styles has been calling his shot since he came to SmackDown. I cannot wait for this match. This may be the match of the night, guys. The following contest.